want to show you uh, a build we just finished here uh, mid-September 2021. This is a 16-foot trailer, nice big heavy 6-inch frame, extended tongue. Uh, you'll see here we've got a 30kW three-phase generator. This fuel tank is just temporary for us to run this thing so we didn't have to fill that belly tank. That's a 50-gallon tank down there. You can fill it easily from the fill cap. You'll see it over there right in the corner. Got a nice, uh, I think this is about 18 CFM, five horsepower, three phase compressor. You'll see the on off valve here to send air to the back of the trailer. Nice little setup. We've got the four doors on the front here, big and open, lots of fresh air. This generator can breathe just fine. Surely won't overheat with all this open space. This is the engine room. We got a divider wall in here. Cuts down on the noise. Exhausted through the roof. Guys have a nice little uh, flange up there for that. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so it exhausts out through the uh, roof of the trailer. Exhaust vent. LED light. And uh, let's get around the back here real quick. We're gonna fire this thing up as well. Maybe do a couple takes here, a little bit dark in the back. We don't have the lights on yet. He's got, uh, I think 150 feet of hose here. I'm not sure, I'd have to check his, uh, his quote. How much is that, 200? We got 200 feet of hose. He's gonna be doing concrete lifting. So he did not buy a gun, but we give him these whips. He'll be able to put whatever gun he needs to put on there. Got a Graco heated uh, whip on here, 10 foot heated whip. This is our hose, 5,700 PSI, double steel braided, old school copper wound like uh, Gusmer used to do it. Our hose rack here we have built for us. Three shelves, got our name, logo cut in there, very nice. We put this air conditioning in for them, air and heat, LED light, three phase panel box, should all be labeled. We'll take a look at it here. If I can open it, there you go. All labeled so he knows what breakers do what. First aid kit, eye wash, a couple outlets if he wants to run uh, heaters, heat blankets, heat bands on his drums. You'll see one ISO pump here. This is a Graco T3. It's got a regulator on it. You can set the pressure on it. You'll see in our training videos, if you do business with us, we send you about a three hours worth of training video um, on how to start up the rig, shut it down, clean it up. This is the uh, Graco Gusmer. We call it a GH2 2035 hydraulic rig, 2000 PSI, runs up to 310 feet of hose, uh, 10,000 watts of heat, beautiful machine for roofing. Heavy duty, lots of torque, lots of volume. This is our data tracking. So everything this machine does, um, heat, pressure coming in, temperature coming in, temperature and pressure going in and out. We uh, add some additional sensors on here. If you know this machine, you'll be able to identify our sensors, but we have analog visual temperature and pressure. We have digital temperature and pressure. So our data tracking monitors everything this machine does. Also calculates the stroke into volume. You'll see us fire this thing up in a few minutes and give you a demo on that data tracking. Refrigerated air dryer, 50 CFM. Drains out through the floor. You'll see that little tiny drain hose right there. Automatically spits that water out keeps that air nice and dry. Wall mounted pressure regulator. What you'll see here, we got two T3 pumps. We're gonna label these before it leaves. He wanted to have uh, open cell for one, closed cell for the other, but he also wanted to blow the system out. So we rigged up this nice little manifold for him. He can either pick uh, closed cell, open that up, or open cell, open that up. And whatever he's not using, let's say he uses the closed cell uh, and he's done with it, he can close this valve off, put air on here, open this valve up, and blow 
all the unused material through the entire system, through the entire hose, uh, out of the manifold or gun block that he may have on the end. So this allows him to do that, or he could do, uh, uh, let's say you wanted to do roof foam, you could do roof foam with this one, you could do polyurea coating with this one, and have the ability to blow all of that extra material out of the system. Same ISO you would use for both, unless it's polyurea, but for foam it's the same ISO. Um, just a nice little rig here. We're going to fire this thing up in a minute, get some lights going, show you how the data tracking works. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, I got my assistant here, Brett. He's going to fire this uh, generator up. Push of a button here, pretty simple to do. It'll auto start, takes a few seconds. Got three phase, like I told you, we'll put the cover on here in just a second. All the different deltas, wiring configurations. Probably get a little noisy here, guys. Probably uh, 10 feet away from the trailer. You guys can probably still hear me. Check our compressor. Good. All right, we're going to run around, back around the back of the trailer. We're all fired up here now. We'll get this breaker box open, get some lights running. All right, we got lights. LEDs, we're going to turn our dryer on. Heck, I can turn the AC on. I've got my compressor. Turn that on. Three phase, I can hear it running. Here's my GH2. Everything's on. Come over to the machine. Turn the machine on. Power control. Fires up all the lights. See our data tracking kicking in. And again, we're looking at uh, drum temperatures, high pressure temperatures. This will all calibrate here in a second. It's not 32 degrees, but that'll clear up in a minute. It's calibrating. You can see our ambient temperatures without any heat turned on yet. Pumps are off. No pressure on the machine yet. Come over here, flip the dryer on. Just spit the air out. And we'll get this thing running in a second. Show you some of the screens that we have on here. We have drum temperature A and B, drum pressure A and B, high pressure output uh, for the hose, the spray hose. A and B tells us what we have for gallons left. High pressure temperature, so it's reading the temperature just before it hits the spray hose. We have hose temperature, we have ambient temperature, what the outside air temperature is. Relative humidity is 110 uh, based on our dew point and ambient. We keep some logs on here, we can put the job name batch number, the manufacturer of the product, we track pressure, we track temperature, and all of this is data track. You can keep all of this on this thumb drive. You bring the thumb drive into your computer, plug it in under the customer's name. These drums, uh, the material will go down. You program how much material you've uh, got in your drums. Graco makes a couple very nice sticks that tells you how many gallons you have in your, uh, what's left in your drums. So you can plug that in, you can save all this, uh, go back to clear the log, save it, and your home screen, back to your home screen, tells you how many strokes. This you can count the entire day. Um, this you can reset that. So if you want to figure out how many strokes or how many gallons you use in a room, it'll data track all of that for you. It does not run the machine, but it just tracks everything that this machine does. 
show you something else with these logs. When you get in here, you can put your job name, key all that, all that in there. Uh, remember how to get back here now. Hold on, enter. Home. Yep, that'll take you back out. Put your batch number in if you got a number for the uh, batch of foam that you're using. And you can put the manufacturer in there as well. If you're using uh, BASF or Rugged or uh, uh, AccuFoam or Rhino, whoever's foam you're using, you can put in uh, whatever product name that is. And again, it's... Uh, I said it data tracks everything this machine does. There you go, guys. All right, guys, again, the GH2. We just did a quick overview of the trailer, ISO, resin pumps, flush system, data tracking, GH2 2035. Great machine. We can answer any questions for you. Please call us, Spec Technologies. 770-274-9888. We'll be happy to help you.